In this video, we're going to be going over how to assemble the mouse trap. So some things that we can do, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on my mouse trap base and I'm going to fix it to the ground so this will no longer move. Um, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight both um, the spring and the cylinder that we created and I'm going to group these together, which will make uh, the assembly process a little easier for this. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to our fasten mate and let's go to the bottom of our U-pin right here. Maybe. There we go. And what we're going to do is we are going to find the bottom of this inside cylinder, right? There we go. That should be perfectly locked in place, green check mark, ready to go to the next one. So let's finish off this spring U-pin. Click right there at the bottom. We're going to rotate this. Let's look at the bottom of our hole. Click right there. Should lock right in place. Perfect. Okay. So now what we can do is we can actually put our spring in place. And what we can do for this is we're going to start with a fastened mate. And we're going to go in the center of this cylinder. And we're going to do the center of this right here. Let's flip that around. And we're actually going to offset this. So let's go to offset. Let's look at our right face. And again, for this part, you can just kind of guess until you uh, get a number that you're happy with. Let's try point. Oh, one. Let's see where that goes. Ooh, that's not very much. And we're going the wrong way. So let's go to negative 0.1. Ooh, that actually looks really good. I'm going to stick with that. We're going to say, okay. So now our spring is in place. But as I'm looking at this, it's like, ooh, we're kind of cutting into that a little bit. So we can very simply click on that. We can edit our Y. And let's make that, let's say 0.03. Hey, that looks perfect, 0.03, okay? So we can say, okay. Uh, what I'm actually gonna do here now is I'm going to right click on my spring and I'm gonna fix this. So what's gonna happen now is I'm gonna click on this blue cylinder part, I'm gonna click uh, delete, and now that has completely removed the inside uh, blue cylinder part. So now we're just left with the spring, which is exactly what we want. Just a couple more, we're gonna do a fastened mate. We're gonna start with a fastened mate on this bottom part where it connects to the rounded edge. Uh, let's do it to the center point right there. Ooh, let's kind of flip this around. That looks good. Can I flip this again? Ooh, that looks perfect. Let's look at the right side. And again, same thing with this. You might have to offset it just a hair. So let's do an offset with a Z. Let's do 0.01. Let's see what that looks like. Oop, wrong way. Let's just add a negative. Oh, that looks perfect. And we'll say, actually, you know what? Instead of fastened, we are going to do revolute and say, okay. So what revolute mate lets us do now is we should be able to grab this hammer arm and we can swing it back and forth, which is exactly what we want. This looks perfect. We'll just leave it down right there. We have two pins left. So let's grab our fastened mate. Let's grab the bottom of this U-pin uh, right here. We'll look at our hole for the U-pin and we're going to grab, whoop, come on, the bottom. Let's see if I can grab this. There we go. That was wanting to be difficult. All right, so this needs to be swung around. We can swing. Perfect locks right into place. And we have one pin left. We're going to use our fastened mate. Let's zoom in on the bottom. Grab the bottom of that U-pin Bring it over to these bottom holes right here, and we'll choose the bottom most one. We're going to rotate it. Fits right in there perfectly. Lock it in with a green check mark. And just for fun, if you wanted to, if you want to make um, the little bait or the little cheese, if yours comes with it, uh, I'm going to do a fastened mate. And let's do, 
Let's do the outside of this circle and we'll connect it to the outside of that circle. Let's take a look at this from the top view. Ooh, let's offset this blue. Let's say, oh, let's try 0.05. Ooh, that looks pretty good. Maybe just a hair more, 0.06. And again, you can just kind of play with these offsets until you're happy with them. I'm pretty happy with that right there. That looks pretty dang good to me. We're gonna rotate this around. My cheese is now locked in place. I can now move my hammer arm back and forth, which is exactly what we wanted. So this is a finished assembly of your mousetrap.